Hey everybody, I'm Dan McClellan. I'm a scholar of the Bible and religion. Let's take a look at a video. A fetus is in utero. What does fetus mean in Latin? What the f I'm sorry, is this it a it language means, It means little human being. So I'm going to briefly put my cognitive linguist hat on to let you know that this is profoundly ignorant and entirely wrong. And there are two main reasons for this. The first is that it simply doesn't matter what fetus means in Latin. All that matters is what fetus means in English. Words mean what people use them to mean. End of conversation. It is a fallacy called the etymological fallacy to imagine that the etymological roots of a word in a given language in some way, shape, or form governs what it is allowed to be used to mean. And the second problem is that that's not what fetus means in Latin. We can look at the online etymological dictionary here to see that fetus is used to mean the young while in the womb or egg. From Latin fetus, the bearing or hatching of young, a bringing forth pregnancy childbearing offspring. And then we have another paragraph. In Latin, fetus sometimes was transferred figuratively to the newborn creature itself or used in a sense of offspring or brood. But this was not the usual meaning. So even if we go look at the etymology of the word, it does not mean little human being. Now, as loath as I am to go look at dictionaries, all that matters is what the word is used to mean in English. And I think the Oxford English Dictionary does a good job of capturing what fetus is used to mean. So here is the entry in the OED down at the bottom. Originally, the offspring of a human or other animal during its development within the uterus or egg. In later use, specifically, the developing offspring of a human or other viviparous animal in the period after the major structures of the body have been formed. So, in other words, in the earliest part of gestation, it's an embryo. During the later parts of gestation, it is a fetus. And down at the very bottom, it says, in humans, the transition between embryo and fetus is now usually taken to have occurred by the end of the eighth week of gestation. So Charlie Kirk does not have the first clue what he's talking about, but that means it's a day ending in Y. And the fit for this video has been Metropolitan State University. Go Roadrunners!